Hello, uh, Kelly Lee here from Rue Pursuit. Today we are working on some tags and projects we can do with the Antiquarian uh, sticker book. So here it is, the Antiquarian sticker book. Um, I really uh, was excited to get this book and I, I've done a, a, a couple of projects. As you can see, I have some missing ones in here, but yep, this is basically the antiquarian sticker book so super fun for junk journaling and ooh, got, some of the images are really bizarre and a lot of them are perfect for you know antiquarian type projects so i thought it would be fun today to uh, make a few tags and uh, junk journal items for the for your junk journal. So anyway, I have these three that I made already. This could be a pocket. Uh, this is a tag, and then this is maybe just a little insert. So all using stickers from the antiquarian sticker book. So I thought that would be fun today. We have all of those are all from, from the book. So, all right, I've got my papers today. So let's pick a sticker. For tags, it kind of helps if they're kind of tall. It might be, well, I saw someone do a really neat like header on a page using both of these and that was really cool. So I'll save that maybe. But the tall-ish ones work really, long skinny images work really well for uh, tags. So maybe we'll look for something like that. Love this image. I think this would look really good on a book page. So maybe we'll try that. Oh look, oh good, neat. And oh, maybe we'll go this way. I noticed that on some of the papers, the stickers are not that sticky and I've had to use my, my Fabrifix to put a little extra glue on there. So that might happen today. I don't know if I want a sharp edge or a because this is so big, it would probably work best for a pocket. Hmm. Maybe I'll use my decorative scissors for that. Let's get crazy, okay. Ooh. that with the top um, the pocket side flat so I'm gonna leave it that way I'm gonna do a little distress ink maybe and then I think this one's set I don't I don't think it really needs anything else so that's a quick one is a little bit on the fragile side. There we go, one done. That was easy. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, we have kitties. Oh, that's pretty. Two kittens in the pocket. And this one's nice too. Let's see if we can find something to go with this. I have a, a few. Here. Um, yeah. Ooh, this could be good. The, the, 
pink gingham. I don't really think that needs anything else. Oh my. I have some frames here that I thought would be kind of neat. So, yeah, I just, this is how I'm doing it these days. Just uh, use another tag as my guide. And that works pretty good. And there we go. Let's do a little hole punch. Got my small hole punch for this one. Oh, that's cute. Kittens, who knew? They were so cute. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm not crazy about the Halloween. This one's nice, too. I really like the vintage stuff. I don't know if this is white enough. Not quite white enough. I'm not crazy about the colors. <laughs> A couple of papers here that I thought might lend themselves. No, I just don't see that. Uh, blue? Nope. I like her, but I don't think she goes with any of these papers. Ooh, the peacock. That's pretty. Are my papers even big enough? The blue blue would be really, really daring. So no. Let's try it. I feel like that edge needs to be blended or something. I can't quite decide. Oh, I just shoved that right on my ink. Well, that's how you ink a sticker. <laughs> Without intention. Um, yeah, this is my blue, so I'm going to need my blue. There we go. I hope I don't ruin this. But I just feel like that it's a little too stark with that purple. I feel like that edge needs to be toned down or something. And this is a blue, so we'll see how this goes. I'm kind of helping, you know, blend it and set it apart at the same time. So, all right, let's take a look at that. Uh, I think that's better. It's hard to sort of, uh, well, it's okay. <laughs> we'll just say that. Um, I don't know what size. Maybe I should just leave it like that. I feel like it's too big. Okay. But whatever I'm going to do, it's too big. <laughs> there we go. 
I think that's good. We're doing plain and simple today. All right, making a decision and moving on. Moving on. Okay. Let's see what else we got. We got skulls. The skulls aren't really my style. Interesting. Some Masonic stuff here. Hmm. And a bird's nest. Those are always fun. And a little, oh. There's a bird. Hmm. <laughs> This one's cute. Look at that lady. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I wonder if this would look. That would be pretty wild. Pretty wild. Okay. I don't even know if this is really going to help my, uh, but some of these backgrounds are just very light and these are all pretty dark colors I've got going on. And generally, I sort of avoid the whites and the starks, but although some of the stuff I've just done is pretty, has a lot of contrast. Do a frame. Let's try a frame. This inside frame has got some color on it. I don't really want. that out. <laughs> it's a little odd. I think I'm just going to use that. I think this would be really cute as a little tiny pocket. It's like the three-sided. <laughs> That's really funny looking. All right. <laughs> We've got some frames and some labels. What else? I really like this little, little doodad, but I think I need some browning on the edges. And I don't think, let me just put it on here. Because I want to brown the edges, but I don't want to brown the paper. I'm putting it on. It's a little better. 
but I'm trying to get that. Okay, now we'll do this. Oh, I don't know. In a frame or something? she needs. Maybe this paper isn't right. That's a problem. <laughs> okay, now we got something. That's what I like. Okay. So, just gonna. Just gonna ink inside that circle. Outside the circle. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Like any more ink. And this is uh, brush corduroy from, and it's an oxide from the Tim Holtz Ranger collection, which the oxides are my favorite. They're just a little creamier. And I keep playing with them to see if I can create some kind of like mixed media effect, but I haven't had a lot of luck, so no videos on that because everything I do kind of turns into a big fail. <laughs> uh, but I just keep trying. We'll see. Sometimes it's just the right combination of paper and... Now for this one, she's sticking a little, but she's going to need some extra glue. That's what I think. Right around the edges. Create like a little shiny area if your glue smears, which I did. I don't do that. All right. Um, that's kind of cute. What do I want to do with that? Maybe like a half pocket? Oof. Oh, cotton crooked. Yep, I think that's it. And then I'll just leave it for something to put in a pocket or something like that. Oh, this one looks like it would go really well. I'm also like uh, trying to use up my frames, so I've got all these out here. Well, that's interesting. Just like almost exactly, but not quite the same. Interesting. Hmm. Um, we can fix that brown here. Try to just color that edge a bit. I'm 
using. This is my uh, Marvy Le Plume, number 18, dark brown. So these are the ones where you've, you've got the fine tip on one side and the brush on the other. But generally your, your dark brown will work. Okay, now let's see, how does it work? Does it, does it work? Yes, well that works really well. Okay, I'm gonna get out my dark brown. Well, I'll use vintage photo, it's pretty dark. Get my dark brown tinker. We're gonna go around the inside of our frame. Yeah, I suppose I could have used that marker as well to go around the inside and the outside. Although I have a tendency to to smear it where all of a sudden right on the side then. So in a pinch it works, but there is the chance that you will create a little a little error when you do it, so not the best idea but in a pinch I have done it <laughs> okay all right I'll we'll glue that down yeah these are these will work really well for my my heritage journals I really should put this finished ephemera in a separate container for just heritage stuff. So I have it at the ready. Make sure that's all done. And I think this will look really nice with the torn edge. Oop. One of these days I'm gonna get a deckle scissors. But not today. Don't have one yet. Okay. And yes. Go around this edge and blend that all together. Bring everything together with those dark browns. background but more than likely it's going to be a pocket okay there we go looks good scraps scrap pile I always wonder what to do with feathers this is a nice sky one I could have it look like it's just falling and you know what I don't like about this oh. is that it's got that purple edge and purple's no good for this let me see how much I can cut off I'm just gonna fussy cut right around there and then the rest I'll try to tone down that edge a bit Okay. I'm just gonna 
use the blue because the background's got hints of blue. So I think that's going to be the best way to just kind of make this look blended. Okay, yeah, that does work really well. So I'm going to put this this way. Maybe. Or I want that. Or this way. I think it would fall that direction. There. Yeah. That was a lot for just a feather. <laughs> but it's a falling feather. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever. kind of ridiculous. Well, here, I've got these little flowers. I just don't like, I just don't like that purple or pinkish. That's really pink. Like a goblet or a... this is, this is my process. I do the main thing and then I end up going back and adding in embellishments one at a time later on well that I like that looks really cute a little bell happy with that okay focal point focal point uh, yeah some of these pages are like trying to think. look here oh wow that's like a floral butterfly interesting I'll just take it out so you can see it. Huh. That would be fun to maybe add to something else in here. Perhaps. But probably not. Any of these. You really cannot tell until you pull it out. What is that? Oh, it's a face. <laughs> oh, lay. Well, I pulled that out. Maybe I, I might as well use it, right? On the book page? That makes the most sense, right? <laughs> okay. So with this, I am going to go along and just, I think that's the wrong tool, but, oh, this would be, is that, did I use this for green? I have one of these. Oh, that was a big bang. <laughs> Something fell. What was it? Oh my gosh. All right. This is my freaky letter opener. You want to see this? Look at that. I don't know if those are mice or rats, but it's so detailed. Oh, <laughs> I got that in an auction. And it came with a bigger mouse too. Look at this. Oh, it, it's probably a rat. Oh, gross. Anyway, I dropped it again. I bet you heard it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was me being distracted, but back to it. I'm going to use this on my brown and it's got this nice point to it so it kind of keeps my my ink where I want it. Although it's going a little wider than I would have liked but that's okay. I just want it I just want it to have a little edge to it but it's ooh, giant it turns out. Okay, so I like that a little better. And what am I gonna do with that? No idea. No idea. Well, it's kind of neat. That is neat. I like it. There's something up here. Something. Okay, 
leaving you on there. <laughs> it's like a little star. I bet that's another butterfly. I'm done messing with those. Wait, what's on this here? <laughs> okay. So another, it's basically the same cutouts that are on that. <sighs> ah, yes, yes. I really like, I really like all of these. I just never quite know what to use them for. I do have some my my circle circles. Where are my circles? I see you. They're hiding right over here. So then I could use, you know, like a little circle here. So what I'm thinking is just layer this. Oh, popped right off layer this with other items, mayhaps. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Getting a little excited here. Why aren't you sticking? Stick. So now I've got like three different layers. These are my favorite to make. And then I just keep them in a little box. And then I put them on later. This sticker is not sticking at all. Getting our glue. Okay. So just gonna put this around the edges. And then... each of those sides. That should do it. Center it. Center this guy. You're getting some extra glue too. Just a little. There we go. So now we've got this little something or other to just put as an add-on to something later, later on. So I really like these. Uh, what are my finished? You know, you kind of get the idea. I would not put that there, but you get the idea, so. Um, that pink is really obnoxious. It's not gonna go in a junk journal. Anyway, so there was that. This looks like a, an Eve. Not sure about that egg. That's a that's a weird one. But maybe if you put something in the middle there, another sticker. I don't know what you would put there. And I mean the butterflies are easy, but I'm just trying to use some of the different look at this butterfly. Oh so pretty. That's amazing. I don't know what well, I'm going to do with that, but this butterfly was awesome. And I think it would go really nicely with this paper. There we go. Just like that. C 
seashells. Oof. I feel like something like a light blue or something would go really well with the seashells. Because they're pretty sort of blandish. But do I have any light blue? This. So like these conical ones, I have a really tough time. Be in a corner. Yeah, that looks good. The, at the angle and then at an angle at the angle <laughs> eventually that's going to need something else to go with it maybe some decorative Not a left-hander's world. That was what that was what that issue was right there. <laughs> I gotta cut it this way. <laughs> Good lord. Well, that turned out yucky. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, that goes this way. I'm cutting a big chunk off the top to make that better. That was a really wonky angle there. And ugh. every time. Okay. No. I'm gonna make it into a tag. I think it's one of those little like, tag reinforcers. I thought I could see the edge, but I can't. Oh. We'll just glue it that way. Oh, I see why. That's fine. We're just going to do it this way. Centered. Hey. Trim. Sorry for that washing machine noise. I think our washing machine is going out. When we bought our house recently, it came with it and it was sort of on the list. I don't know, probably have to be replaced, but we're trying to get all we can out of it, you know? <laughs> so there's that. All right. I don't know, maybe I'll just add two of them. That. Oh yeah, that's way better. Just 
two shells. That's the way to go. I don't know what the heck I would use these for. Those are so bizarro. They're very bizarre. I still have this paper. Ooh, hot air balloon. That looks like that would maybe get lost or be blended really well. We'll see then now we're gonna have the background on it. Ooh. What are you oh let's see here. Tone down that blue a bit. Yeah, toning these down, that's making a big difference on these. Okay, just kind of a little blob over there. Okay, we can live with that. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Yay! Awesome. Hot air balloons. They're very cool. The fruit is cute. There's another one where it's kind of... A little bit oddball. You know, maybe one of my frames would come in handy. Do something like this. What was I cover up all that text? There we go. a layering bit with this. So many of these items, especially when they're worn, if you put them on the as soon as you put them on like the book pages as a background then it just really lends itself to that whole look okay so there's that and then you know you can go you can just you can keep going so then That isn't quite big enough, but close, close enough. I really like it just like that, actually. On the book page. We'll just make it a whole tag. I think this is going to be the last one. Put that here. And then for this one, I'll do the torn look.
And that will make a nice little random pocket. Closing the book. That was fun. That was a lot of good stuff we made there. All from the antiquarian sticker book. Lots of goodies there. All right. Good stuff. So, you know, if you if you already have the Antiquarian sticker book or you want to find one, uh, sometimes they do have good deals on Amazon where they'll uh, knock the price down to like half price. So it'll be like eight or nine dollars, but I don't know how often they do that. So at any rate, if you've already got it and you're wondering, you know, how to put things together and use those stickers up, this is... And make them, you know, go with that junk journal style, I think, or the heritage album. I think this is a, a really good uh, start. All right. So to wrap up, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to be notified about our upcoming videos. Videos come out every other day. Uh, you can check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. Thanks for coming along. Talk to you later.